What's going on YouTube, that's a fire media, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and we are going to be doing a lot more crime stories on this channel because I did one a couple of days ago and you guys liked it so I'm going to be covering a lot more crime stories so send me some stuff on Instagram if you see you want me to cover on this channel at Fezify. So our story today guys comes straight out of Bradford and recent events show that a man was jailed for laundering 5 million of drugs money for a Bradford crime gang. Laundering money we know is basically when the money is dirty and they put it through a legitimate business to try and make it actual legal money. So it said a failed businessman has been jailed for 5 years after laundering drugs money for an organised crime gang operating in the Bradford area. His name was Richard and he said he made frequent trips between his home in Manchester and West Yorkshire to collect and deliver large amounts of cash concealed and hidden in compartments under the seats in a Range Rover. He was labelled the cash converter and banker, kind of like Better Call Soul out of Breaking Bad. You know you need to launder your money, right? Do you understand the basics of it? Placement, layering, integration. I ain't buying no damn nail salons, so just forget it. Well, you want to stay out of jail, don't you? I mean, you want to keep your money and your freedom. And he was working for a notorious drug dealer called Rashid, who was jailed for 18 years earlier this month for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and criminal property of conspiracy to possess prohibited weapons and ammunition. He's probably carrying firearms for his own protection. Carrying that amount of money, hundreds of thousands of pounds at a time, cannot be comfortable if you had nothing on you. So it's safe to say he was dealing with the big boys and cleaning their money up for them. He was observed in Bradford on many occasions in his Range Rover collecting back bags and bundles of banknotes and ledger seized by police from his home showed the full extent of the money laundering activity. He was arrested on April 29th heading back to Manchester from Bradford along the M62 at 3.30pm. Bags of money were hidden in compartments of the Range Rover and he was in possession of three phones, one of them was encrypted. The police seized the ledger, a heat sealing machine and more cash from his home making a total haul of 195000 on that day. It was said that he was even provided with the Range Rover to transport the cash and equipment to his home. He was defended by saying he fell into criminality after his business failed and he was approached by the gang because basically he had learned how to legalise dishonest money. His role was to collect and deliver large quantities of cash totaling of 5 million between Manchester and Bradford. Guys in other crime news police are getting an extra 15 billion in funding to try and fight crime. It said they also will be recruiting 20,000 new officers. Of course that's a lot of money invested in my personal opinion some of that 15 billion they should put into stuff that prevents events crime, open up youth centres, give young people opportunities so they don't fall into crime from young. Even some of that money could be put into supporting local football teams or supporting local boxing gyms to keep people out of crime as well. Then you won't have to recruit so many officers and put so much money into a policing system that wouldn't need as much funding if we put simple things out there to prevent crime. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. As always, make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell to be updated on my next videos. And follow me on Instagram at Fezify. Drop me a message, feel free. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.